Okay, today we're going to be looking at uh, writing a shell script that will allow you to update a line without having to clear the whole screen. And what I mean by that is, um, let's make a script here. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but as always, use whatever text editor you prefer. I'll call this um, mytime.sh. And we'll start it off as we do with all our scripts, give it in a shebang line, and this is going to be a bash script for me. So pound exclamation forward slash bin forward slash bash. Just letting our operating system to know to use the bash interpreter for this script. Now, this is important because you may not be using sh bash as your default shell on your system. So let's say I wanted to display the time. We can just say date and time. I would just say date. Let's save that and make it executable with change mod plus x in the name of the script and then we can dot slash the script and it says the date there great now let's say we want it to continuously every second update that we can go back into our script here and we can put it into a while loop so we can say while and we can say true and then we can say date while true do date colon sleep for one second done now if we do that and uh, if I type something wrong get my programming language is messed up here let's just do one that would make it true sorry I think I was going into Python in my mind there get uh, programming language is messed up sometimes so we're doing while one, so while true, while always, this will continue to loop forever until you kill it or give it something to break out of it. It will display the date, wait one second, display the date again. If we do that, there we go, but it's writing a new line each time. In the past, I'll control C to stop this. In the past, um, a simple way to fix that would be to do a clear, either at the beginning or the end, um, so clear, which will clear the screen each time, and then run our command. So if we run it again, there we go, it's updating that line. But really what it's doing, if we control C this and we scroll up, you can see it's actually producing a new line, clearing the screen, producing a new line each time it did it. Which works in this case, but let's say you have more going on. Let's say we have some other lines like echo, this is a line, and echo, this is another line, and then we can say echo, this is the date and time. So now we do that, you can see we don't even see any of that text because it's outside our while loop, so it happens once if we scroll all the way up here right there but then the screen is cleared so basically we would have to add that into our while loop at least that's how we would have done it in the past and that'd be fine for a simple script like this but if you have a lot going on you have a formatted screen and you're just trying to update the one line there's really no need to clear the screen and also maybe you don't want to have to clear the screen maybe you want to keep what's on the screen there so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our clear line there and all we're going to do is after we print the line we print the date we're going to use the command print f and then in here inside quotations we're going to say backslash 033 so we're using an escape code here bracket or sorry square bracket capital A and what that's going to do is basically go back to the beginning of the line and erase it. I don't know, uh, you know the technical aspect of what that does, I just know in this case, if we now run that command, you can see that it's updating that line. So you can see we didn't clear the screen at all, you can see the lines that we've printed, we don't have to repeatedly reprint. Um, the command prompt, if we didn't want to clear the screen, is still there, so if you still want that stuff visible it is but our date and time continuously updates every one second. So let's have another look 
at that code real quick. I'll control C to kill that. Go back into here and we have our while loop and this doesn't have to all be on one line. We, you could break it up if you wanted to make it easier to read. We could just say and let me just do that for you. I mean it's so short it'd be nice to keep it on one line. Just keep your script nice and compact but to make it easier for to read I'll put it like that. So the script starts, it prints these three lines, then it starts our while loop, which it will do forever until it's killed. And in that loop, it will print the date, basically go back to the beginning of the line, wait one second, then print the date again. And it will continuously do that, leaving all the other stuff intact. So, once again, the special line that we've learned about today is using the printf, which is similar to echo, but has a lot more options, especially when it comes to formatting. It's something that... I don't use as much as I probably should, and it's very handy. So there it is. Um, it's using an escape code here, uh, backslash 033 bracket capital A inside quotations, which uh, I believe just means go back to the beginning of the line and start again. Um, you know, another case that this might come in handy is if you're downloading something and you're giving some sort of progress bar um, and you have multiple files. It's like you can say downloading this file dot 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 downloading the next file dot 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 where before if we were clearing the screen each time once the next file started you would lose the visual of the first file where here you could continuously add to the line without clearing off the rest of the screen preserving that information that data that uh, may have come before it. So I thank you for watching this tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. I just recently um, redid my site. It's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. I appreciate it. If you go there, check out the site. I have all my playlists and free files, scripts, and music for you to download if you do so wish. Um, also, if you enjoy my tutorials, I have a lot out there. I hope you take advantage of them. And if you do enjoy them, uh, think about possibly donating. There is a donate button on my website, and I would greatly appreciate it. It would help me out a whole bunch. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.